Here's a wild to a story. Fiji two years ago, our first time out there. I'm from Fiji, so it was like a coming home for me. And, uh, you know, I was kind of like sketchy. I didn't know how the fans were going to react or with anybody going to show up. They pick us up in this bus and it has like common kings on the side. So everywhere we were driving, all these little kids all dressed up in their uniform to go to school were screaming. So obviously like, all right, cool. So everybody everybody knows who we are and they they're looking forward to the show so the first show we get there and there's really no opening band there's like a dancing act um and then we were it you know we had they asked us if we could play for like two and a half hours and i think at that time our set was 45 minutes <laughs> we kind of had to go back to the drawing board figure out what we we're going to do and there's like almost six thousand people in this unair conditioned uh stadium right so it's all packed and it, it went off so well Matsu's thinking like, you know what? At the next show, because they, they had us play on the other side of the island, I think I'm gonna stage dive. So we're like, all right, that's cool. I mean, because yeah, there's there's plenty of people there, you know? So we get to the next show and it's outdoors. It was a little bit raining, right? So all the people were in the stands. And so they kind of, nobody was uh, coming out to the front yet. And so when we told everybody to come down, then they all, you know, they all came down, but it wasn't as packed as it was the night before. But uh, we said, you know, it was like slippery. The stage was slippery. It was about, I'd say eight feet off the ground. And we're, we're like telling my size, it's, it's like, you know, you probably shouldn't stage dive. It's, it's kind of slippery. There's like little kids in the front. You know, I think uh, we had just ended the show. Everybody applauding, it goes quiet, you know? And so they put, turn the music on or something like that. We hear like this big, like uproar, like people laughing or screaming or something like that. And come to find out, uh, Mata, our guitarist, he, he tries to stage dive. At the very last second, he decides this is a bad idea and he tries to stop, right? But he ends up sliding off anyway. Ends up sliding off and he looks for the biggest guy and he tries to go for him and they all kind of moved. And our fans are like, they're young and, and most of them are female. So he tried to stage dive and it was kind of muddy. It was raining earlier that day. and. Stage dive and nobody catches him. Boom, lands into the, to the mud. Now he is an athlete. I'll grant him that. So he kind of landed like Thor coming down from the mountains or whatever. Not on his feet, but like in a position to where it didn't mess him up. The crazy part about that was that everybody looked down. In Fiji, everybody's kind of like reserved, so they don't do like mosh pits. They don't do stage dives. Everybody's kind of like they're you know they're there singing along. So when they saw him coming, they're like, oh, what, what the hell? You know, so he comes flying off the edge, the eight foot uh, stage, lands in the mud, <clears throat> and we're laughing about that the next day. And then we open the paper. And uh, it makes the paper like the front page the next day. And we're like, bruh, he made a fool of himself. And that was actually a fun moment for us. Cause it, that whole year we talked about it and in every interview we had, we're like, oh yeah, so this happened in PG. And, that was one for the books. There's many more, but that one was pretty memorable. Way to be an athlete. I mean, aside from that, he was just cool all around. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to be cool to me. You know what I'm saying? He was five dog. He could have been like, mm, you know what I'm saying? He never was like that with me. Tip wasn't either, you know what I'm saying? But but five definitely wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? He was he just embraced fools, you know? And we were watching this documentary on the dude um, that was running around the Hamptons saying that he was Rockefeller. And he's like, yeah, see, this gives people like uh, me a bad name. You know, they're using my fifth the family names and this and that. Meanwhile, long story short, he was a straight up con artist. And there was this one girl in particular. She was like an older woman. She had like this mask on and she had like this weird short, like silky dress that she could like pull open like this or whatever. So anyway, I start to sing the joint and uh, she climbs on top of the stage and she's like, maybe about five of these girls is grabbing my, my joint, like grabbing me while I'm singing on, on the stage. So they jump on the stage. Well, Woo, they used to have these tapes in the bus and they always would battle. And, you know, we was talking about that. So at that moment, you know, I was like, all right, you ready to go? And I pulled out my, uh, have my laptop with me, so I just had mad music, and we're just playing. I'm just showing him mad, like ill R&B shit, and we're just going crazy. 